how do you get yourself involved in, in such things that impacts you to impact others? Okay, first of all, I'd like to say that growing up, I was a very shy person. I would never want to be in the forefront. I was one of those people who would love to be in the background, you know, get things done low key, and then people could take the glory. But you could only impact two when you're heard. If you're silent, nobody knows what you have. And so I decided that, you know what, it's time for me to go for something. It's time for me to get value in myself because I can only give what I have. Hmm. And that is where it came from. Generation. To your opinion, do you think that the, w w the younger generation are afraid to take up the mantle or they're not being guided properly? There's not proper uh, um, laid down rules or guidance from the older generation on how things need to be done. Okay, to answer that, we are ready to take over. But what I see is we don't want to do it your way. We don't want to follow the standards that you have set. We want to try things our way. We feel like we're bringing something different. We have a different voice. We have more tools now. We have technology. You know, we're virtual, we're global. And that is what we're trying to do. And so if a grown up, an adult is telling me that you need to do it ABC, I'm like, what if I do it PWX? I'm still going to get the results. I'm bringing a little bit of flair into it. That might work. <laughs> okay, let's look at what you're doing. How impactful do you think that um, most of the skills uh, that you have have impacted people's lives and society in general? Okay, so with mentoring, um, I'm sharing what I have with the younger people and I see them trying to do the best they can. We had a video editing class recently. We had a cooking class recently and I was able to share with them, you know, I'm an advocate for healthy living, so I was able to share with them, these are certain things you should be eating. You don't have to wait till you're 70 and, God forbid, sick, and that's when you want to, you know, eat something good. You can start by adding little vegetables to your diet now. You can start by cutting down on a couple of things. You don't have to drink a bottle of Coke every single day. How important are social skills? In medicine? Yes. It is very important because that's the way you gain the trust of your patient or whoever work, walks in through the door, right? So if I have someone come to me and I had a bad day, I need to put that aside and attend to the person. There are people who are very afraid of the hospital. Nobody likes to take injections. Nobody likes to go through surgery, but you need to make the patient feel comfortable with you. And so it's important that you're communicating that you're safe with me this is a place where I will take care of you and do the best I can. And so I encourage everybody, I encourage my colleagues, my friends who are in the medical field to please be amazing <laughs> to your patients. It's really hard. Trust me, it's really hard. But do that for your patients.